So welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending November 3rd, 2017. Thanks for joining me. Unfortunately, Ronald is still out. I actually uh, received a phone call from him, but it was hard to hear over all the shooting and the screaming. So let's move on to the news from the week. Certainly the big one would be Hayao Miyazaki revealing more about his upcoming film project. Uh, which is to be called, um, kind of a, a weird name, um, sorry, How Do You Live? Which is a reference to a famous book um, uh, written by Genzaburo Yoshihino in 1937. Um, apparently in the film, the main character is familiar with the book. Um, and so the uh, the 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 book itself has big meaning for the protagonist of this upcoming Miyazaki film, called, which will be called, also be called How Do You Live, or Kimitachi wa do ikiru ka. Uh, so we know the main character is a male, um, uh, and his uncle, the uh, young man is named Koperu, and we will follow Koperu through his, his spiritual growth, and talk about sort of living as a human being. So certainly you know, <laughs> something you would expect from somebody in um, more advanced years discussing a, a pretty, pretty dense philosophical question in his film. This film is still quite a ways out, to be clear. They've started hiring animators and such, but it's going to be quite a while. Um, we shouldn't expect this for another two years, maybe, I'm thinking. So we'll see. Um, but certainly there is, there's more coming, which is cool. You know, no complaints there. Um, and, uh, hopefully it'll be interesting. Susumu Hirasawa announced at an event that he is writing, uh, the theme song for Satoshi Kon's manga called Opus. Um, Hirasawa did most of the music for most of Satoshi Kon's work. What's unclear is that nobody's announced an anime adaptation of Opus. <laughs> So no one knows, and um, the, uh, actually uh, Masao Maruyama of Madhouse, I think, um, said he wanted to, to do this, but then somebody followed up with the studio, and the studio said, just to be clear, like, we haven't started anything. Like, that, that was just a guy saying he wanted to make it. That's, you know, nothing has been done. Um, you know, we haven't even, you know... Um, you haven't even, even greened anything, we, you know, nothing, you know, that, that's just a personal opinion by the, the director. So, weird. Um, uh, but, I mean, he, he said, yes, this is going to be a theme song for Opus, and it's hard to imagine they're not going to do something. I mean, you don't have a theme song for a manga. There's just no place to put it. So, I don't know what's going on there. Very, very odd to see, but um, hopeful that we will get another Satoshi Kon um, at least an adaptation of Satoshi Kon's work coming soon. Here's hoping. We're also getting more free. Kyoto Animation announced a new free Iwatobi S Swim Club anime series, TV series, that will be premiering next summer. Um, they will also be having event screenings of an episode zero for this new season. And uh, all the typical stuff, you can, you know, apply for forms, get a ticket to the event screening and all that, that good stuff. Um, um, so, uh, yes, and this was part of the, they're, they're currently screening um, uh, film, uh, the free film called Take Your Marks. So more free for all of you who love sweaty, water-covered, uh, very muscled young men, which apparently there's a lot of you. Um, and we're not done yet. The director of Miss Hokusai has announced that he's working on a new film. Uh, Keiichi Hara, who directed Miss Hokusai, Summer Days with Ku, and Colorful, as well as a bunch of Crayon Shinchan stuff, actually, um, has announced he's working on a new film that will be a female adventure fantasy. What you see there is the, um, the one promotional image we have of it, which is it's kind of hard to see is a but like a teenage girl on her bicycle heading through this beautiful verdant um sort of gates of greenery so he said it will be about a um um the, the protagonist will have adventures in another world and it'll be his first full-blown fantasy work 
Um, sounds like it's going to be a more general audience kind of a story than, say, his, his previous stuff. Not that Ms. Hokusai is, you know, um, completely inappropriate for families, but this sounds like it's going to be, you know, more in the your name, a silent voice sort of area than, say, colorful was. So we'll see. That's, that's really cool. Um, no notes on, uh, he, he says he plans to complete the work sometime next year, which indicates it'll probably be, come out, you know, late next year, early the year after. So we're looking at 2019 probably for this particular one. But that's really, really cool. Uh, we, will, we will find out. Um, moving along, um, quick note about Funimation. Funimation, uh, we, we mentioned a little while back, was to be bought out by Sony Pictures Television Networks. That acquisition has gone through officially. The deal is closed. So Gen Fukunaga is still CEO and retains a minority stake in Funimation. But uh, Sony Pictures Television Networks now owns Funimation. Uh, Funimation did update their fact saying that its streaming service, simul dubs, and release schedules continue unchanged. For now. They didn't say that, but who knows? All right. Uh, then moving on to um, a bit of a uh, sad one, but fortunately no uh, major problems. There was a fire at the warehouse for Shoujo Beat which is Viz Media's uh, shoujo imprint. Um, and uh, so apparently some of their books were affected by this, meaning that three volumes of their manga are going to be pushed back. So um, SP Baby Volume 1, Anonymous Noise Volume 5, and Idle Dreams Volume 4, originally coming out November 7th, are now pushed out to November 28th. Um, but that so far is the only um, result of this. All the December titles will come out on time, so just pushing back a few things. Um, uh, um, by a couple of weeks. Um, so, um, Iman is asking about the uh, the parent company of Funimation. Yes, they they um, they are essentially they essentially sold their stake in the company to Sony. Is how that works, as I understand it. Moving on, finally, um, again, sort of an, an odd note, and hopefully not a uh, uh, it's just a bittersweet note. Sezai san is losing its sponsor Toshiba. Uh, for those not familiar, Sezai san is the world's longest running animated series. It first aired in 1969 and has been airing every week since. Yeah. And uh, its sole sponsor was Toshiba until I think it was 1999, um, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, yes. And then it opened up and allowed other sponsors in. Then, um, uh, then, j just recently, this was, uh, uh, just, well, yeah, just this past week, Toshiba announced that they're just not going to sponsor Sazai san anymore. Uh, now, there are other sponsors there, and they're planning to continue on the show, obviously. This is an icon of anime, after all, and Japanese culture in general. Um, uh, the Takasu Clinic plastic surgeon chain, um, which um, uh, has been running commercials around Kasan Mom's Life, is looking to take over main sponsorship of Sezai san. Uh, so we will see how that goes. Um, um, but yeah, kind of, kind of a, a surprise to see a decades long sponsor pull out. Toshiba's been having some issues lately. Um, they're currently undergoing restructuring, and they've been having some financial problems. Um, actually, apparently because of some losses in the American nuclear energy market, which is kind of interesting. Um, so they've been kind of struggling to keep all of their balls in the air, so to speak. They, they said they plan on continuing to sponsor this ISOM, but now it looks like that's not going to happen. So, who knows? Uh, so hopefully this ISOM will pull out of this fine, and that will continue on for, for years to come. Anyway, that's all the big news fit for this week. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I hope you watch more interesting anime and manga.